Hello everyone, welcome to Cynthia Montana channel. Now I'm gonna talk about ICPE price prediction. So before I start it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just gonna give you some prediction using a technical analysis. I'm gonna use an ICP per bay USD. So we're gonna use first a Bollinger Band here. This is the Bollinger Band. We have the yellow one is upper band. The pink one is a middle band and the purple one is a lower band. Okay, so next we're gonna talk more about this price for the upper band at 46.7, pink one at 37.6 and the a purple one at 28.49. You can enter the market on the purple one here, the down line or lower line here lower band and taking profit between the pink and the yellow one or at the yellow one here don't be so greedy please don't be so greedy for an investment if you already profit like two until ten percent just take your profit okay so this is using a bollinger band and also daily chart gonna change it to the moving average this is the moving average for the pink one here is moving average 25 is at 37.56 for the moving average 7 is at 40.3 in here it's like between the moving average 7 and moving average 25 so we're gonna see more about the rsi stochastic when we are looking for the RSI stochastic, there is already in the oversold zone. What means oversold zone? It means like that the price below the 50 first. And the second one is uh, when it's over already oversold, you can enter the market. You can buy it like 10 until 20% of your portfolio. Okay. So when we are changing this from the daily chart to the 4-hour chart, by the way, I'm using Binance, powered by Binance, okay? And looking in here, there is a 4-hour chart. The 4-hour chart for this ICP per bay USD, gonna change it to the Bollinger Band. For the Bollinger Band here, it's like range of 37 until 42, okay? 37 until 42. Looking for this, now for the 4-hour chart, is at the pink one. The range of the pink one is at the middle band. Still for this is the RSI stochastic in the over uh, sold zone. It means like you can having some position if you don't have any position. If going down also, they're going down like at 36 or 37, right? In here. So we're going to change it to the other like a moving average. Before I'm using a Bollinger Band, next I'm going to use a moving average. For the moving average here, there is like moving average moving average 25 and moving average 38 in here, okay? Using here, already hit in the uh, yellow one at 39.28. Is it going to be go to the 40 or go down to the 38.5? Okay, so this is all about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just let me know. Put your comment below. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.